All right, it's time, finally time to start the second game of the Rarathon Marathon. Welcome, everybody. This is the MJ406. And to continue our Rarathon, we're going to be playing the sequel to the very well-acclaimed Banjo-Kazooie. And the weird thing is, <clears throat> while most people would probably prefer the original game, I actually prefer the sequel a bit more. And just like with Kazooie, we're playing the Xbox Live arcade version. Both because I think the visual quality is better and, uh, well, it just feels overall a little bit nicer. Oh, thanks for letting me know I signed to Xbox Live. I really needed that. Damn it. But, uh, yeah. This game was released two years after the original Banjo-Kazooie. For Xbox Live Arcade, it was released one year after. Because, you know, they were able to do it quickly. Just like the previous game for the Xbox Live Arcade, it looks prettier. And, uh, well, they managed to tweak the controls to work with an Xbox 360 controller. And, uh, well, no, they didn't really actually change a lot with this game like they did with Kazooie. It made Kazooie a lot more accessible, but 2 was already accessible in what it was, so they didn't really have to do much with this. But we see Cluggo still trying to get Grunty out of that rock. Jeez. What a loyal grunt he is. I feel kind of bad for him. But that, that's not important. I have to show a little bit of unfortunate news, though. Let's go over the achievements. I accidentally got one trying to test things out. So, uh, yeah. I already beat Klungo. Knocked out Klungo. My bad. Let's just see what the others are. Treasure hunt. You'll probably end up with many more. But to achieve this, you need just one of each. Of the treasures. Okay. All beaten up. Kill any 20 bad guys with any of these attacks. Mumbo's wand. Your pants attack. Or the daddy T-Rex. Oh, God! A merry old soul. You'll find old King Cole in Chuffy's boiler. And he's a bit on the grubby side. Scrub him out. Oh, good. A cleaning mission. Hatch the future. Separate our heroes for the first time. Or hatch a Pedro Kazooie's stop and swap egg with Heggy. <coughs> ah, separate them. Jeez, what are they, a couple? Calamari Bonanza. Don't be suckered. You'll have to freeze every single octopi. Oh man, why do they plural that anyway? It lives! Miracles do happen. Bring Sabermen back to life. Oh, that's a rare reference. Cool. After the storm. Ah, pretty rainbow. You did that, you old softy. I didn't try to. It's not my fault I don't know how rainbows work. My nemesis. Do it properly this time. Get rid of Grunty and save us from her rhymes. Off with her head! But I like her rhymes. Points make prizes. Balloons of any color will do. Get 60 points worth or more and you're a winner. Sort of. What does that mean? They think it's all over. Win a Coliseum Kickball Final. The worst scorers will at this game, so you should be good at it. Hey! I'm not that bad at sports, you dick. And shoot them up. It's great fun exploding these little lovelies. Any 20 ulcers, clinkers, or mines will earn this. Sweet. I'm glad to hear that. And this game also has leaderboards. However, I think the leaderboard's only for uh, overall game completion, not particular with the levels. Because it's a bit more to collect, but <clears throat> we'll go over that as we go. Notice the uh, the SNS logo at the corner. That means that Banjo Tooie has loaded the uh, Banjo Kazooie Stop and Swap. If you don't remember that, be sure to check out the uh, last episode of my Banjo Kazooie playthrough. But for now, we're just going to start this one. Oh, yeah, you can skip the opening cutscene if you want. But we're not going to do that. I want to see exactly what's happened to this world since we last came here. Two years have passed since Gruntilla the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. Even though it was really the Ginginator, but whatever. Damn Jinjos. Oh, wow, it's extremely dark. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. Really? Klungo finally succeeds? Look at him go, he can't get her. Oh yeah, I have to remember, I'm not gonna do voice acting again. They have their own voices kind of as they speak, so you can imagine their voices. Besides, it's much better than mine anyway. You've been working on this for two years and you still can't get her up? I thought you would at least get stronger or something. 
Oh, don't blame me. Blame her. You know she's evil as shit. But one thing I do have to complain about the opening cutscene, though, in the Xbox Live Arcade version, the music is out of sync because the parts of the cutscene load so fast. Anyway, we're gambling. Oh, damn. Poker. What fun. Who would have thought even animals were into it? Oh, God. Really? See what I mean by the music being out of sync? That suspense was supposed to come up after Kazooie said that. But instead it came later. It's a little annoying. The N64 loads it perfectly, but... I don't know why it's messed up with this one. It's only the opening cutscene. The rest of them are fine, just not this one. So things feel out of place. If you want to get the ultimate feeling of the storytelling from the music of the cutscene, then you're probably better off looking at the N64 version. Which is a shame. It's like one of the only things this game gets wrong in Xbox Live. Damn it! Oh god! Oh great, I see a poison drill of some sort. What the hell could that be? Oh shit! Get down! <laughs> Yeah, the whole house is shaky. I doubt that's somebody rocking the table. Yeah, see? He knows better. Thank you! Ha! <laughs> Jeez. Sure it's not so bad you fall out of the chair. I love how you guys are just experiencing an earthquake and you don't even think anything of it. They're just like, Huh, oh, what the hell's going on outside? Maybe somebody should take a look. Nobody's like, HOLY SHIT! GET DOWN! THIS PLACE IS FALLING APART! No, nobody thinks like that. Because that would make too much sense. What the hell is that tank thing anyway? A tank with a drill that's expelling like poison gas or something. It's something evil, I'm sure. Damn it. We dealt with Grunty and now something else has decided to show its face. Ooh, they even let out the carpet. Oh, God, it's another witch. Son of a bitch. I accidentally rhymed. Ugh. Blob Elda? Let me guess. You're skinny. She's, yep. Fat. That figures. With a name like Blob Elda, that would make sense. Oh, you two don't rhyme. Come on. That would be exciting if you two rhymed. Oh, well. I guess it's a grunty privilege. Well. Yeah, we, we should take a look. Even though... <laughs> wow. Really? Really, Kazooie? You lying bitch. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Wah! Jeez. Damn Xbox Live loading. They're too, they're too truthfully original. Oh, God damn it! You mugger! Damn you, Kazooie. Why can't you just play fair? Oh, boy. Maybe Mumbo could stop them. That'd be nice. And it took you two years of pushing a rock to learn that. At least you put in a good effort. So, Grunty has sisters, huh? Oh, man, look at the acne on her face. And all over her body, actually. She's a pretty worthless piece of crap. Boulder Blaster. Oh, wow. They actually have the words written out like they're actually told in the dialogue. That's pretty cool. Good detail. Grunty has a spell for eliminating a boulder through rhyme, huh? See, now that it's getting really obvious the music is out of sync. All right. Is Grunty actually still alive? Wow, of course she is. Damn it. That figures. Huh. The music syncs up for a different moment instead. No, 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 this cannot be. What happened to little old me? And her rhymes are still intact. Yes. Yeah, you certainly lost weight. You have no skin on your bones. I hate bones, a body I need. Can you help with this little deed? 
God damn it, Kongo! Asshole! Damn, she decayed and pretty much died, yet somehow she's still alive. Right there, girls, let's fix me up. Then Banjo's hairy butt I'll whoop. Damn. She's looking for revenge already? She's not even gonna, like, try to form a plan? Either way, oh god, she's looking right at me. I better hurry up and go tell the bear. Yet she's not the first one to see me, it's her sister. Okay, time to run! Leave it to me, he's no hassle. I'll kick butt. Then off to the castle! Huh, that's convenient. Oh, shit! See, look, the suspense of the scene is gone, as you'll hear from the music later. Wow. Music started pretty much just as he's running. Wow. You only care about yourself, Kazooie, but you suck. Yeah, bottles, you tell her. Oh, shit! Put his money back, quickly! Can't let him know we're gonna buy shit with it. Can't- We gotta hide the porn! You yeah, see, this is the music of him being chased down right here. Damn it. Revenge is mine, I cannot miss. Let's see that furry fool dodge this. Damn, her spells are getting serious now. That's a shame. We were hoping she wasn't going to be so intense. <laughs> if only she did have two heads. <laughs> That'd be funny as shit. Spell coming. What? Oh no, I hate the spelling bee. I get the fuck out of here. Everyone get out, my house is going to blow up again. And you're the only one there? Because you think you're gonna get, not get fooled? Well, you got fooled. You should have left. Why do you think they were joking, you asshole? Ugh. Damn, she's really tall. Hold on, sis. I'm nearly there. I've just been to blast that bear. You have been building that up for over two years, so I can imagine you really wanted to blast him. Oh, no. More troops. Just what we need. Damn it! Not the pterodactyl bat! Oh man, that was supposed to be the moment where bottles got blasted in the house, but nope. You're not gonna get that satisfaction. Oh no, don't leave poor Klungo behind. He was so loyal to you, and you're just gonna leave him here? You! Oh. You're not even nice to your... Freaking number two henchman. Well, I guess number one henchman. He's your number two. That's what I meant. Damn, Igor. Damn. The house didn't blow up, but it got burnt and blown up from the inside. She did a good number on this place. I bet. Those magic spells have always made you feel a little allergic. No crap, our house is done for. Yeah. At least everyone's safe. At least I think. We got a three head count, right? We have three players playing. Oh, right. Goggle Boy. Oh, damn. Came out of that just like a burnt cartoon character. Don't worry. We just clean you right up and you'll be fine. Right, Bottles? Wait a minute. No way. Oh, my God. They killed him. Oh, shit! No! Our mentor! That bitch! I can't believe her! <laughs> That's not the way to brighten the mood in this situation! God damn you, Kazooie! Come on! Read the mood! Oh, man. Yeah, we're gonna go after her, please. It would've been nice if you could help, but... Oh, you're gonna prepare? Sure. Yeah, it sounds like it'll be fun, but without our mentor, we can't learn any moves again. And if we had to relearn everything, this is going to be even tougher than before. God damn it. This bitch witch. <laughs> wow, the music just got to the part where it showed bottles dying. They even have the comedic music come up for when Kazooie says, Oh, well, what's a favorite character in Banjo-Kazooie anyway? Royston? You knock off the barbecue and end up after under a boulder. Wouldn't you prefer to be there? Oh, maybe it's just me. Oh, by the way, 
you get to keep all of your moves from Banjo-Kazooie in Banjo-Tooie. And that's not a stop and swap feature. That's just something that happens. It really builds a sequel by actually making you feel progress in between the playthroughs. Oh, no. Klungo is waiting for me. I guess he learned his purpose for having to stay behind. So, yeah, you get to keep all your moves from Banjo-Kazooie. You can find that out if you go on top of the molehill. You can go to all these molehills to go over the other controls if you don't remember them. <coughs> but I remember them, so it's not really a problem for me. Oh, God, I'm getting talked at by an army soldier. I know what eggs do. Oh, yeah, the roll is different. Instead of him, like, doing, like, a punch combo, that happens. And that roll happens as well. Because, you know, it's very convenient. I guess do the aerial attack. High jump. I can do a lot of things. Oh, yeah, I can still do that, too. Oh, wait. I can still do the eggs in all directions. I can still do the golden feather thing. So, yeah, I pretty much have all my abilities from before. Even the shoes. Even the shoes. It's pretty awesome. They work just like they did before, so if you play Banjo-Kazooie, this is a perfect place to go to next. You really feel like you've grown once you play this game. I love being able to run on water. Unfortunately, you don't get to go back to Gratilla's Lair. Actually, maybe I should do that now. It'll be more fun if I actually try to do it that way. Oh, thankfully, the, uh, the refills on, like, feathers and eggs and stuff reappear now. So, you don't have to, like, look for a specific location to actually get things. Go dig around an entire level. You just get them now. Makes it much easier to just have what you need. So, why don't we go to Gratilda's Lair? Uh, as you can imagine, flight is still possible. As well as the beak bomb. Right, no airplane controls. Got it. Oh, God, I can't get in. Ah! Let me in the hole! Uh -oh. Ow! Careful about beak bombing on the floor. But Cheeto has survived the explosion of the lair, apparently. I figured somebody should. So he happens to be here, too. Ready for more cheats, I would suppose. By the way, cheats in this game are actually easier to enter than in the original. And they take much less time. Oh, wow. Oh, damn, she really did get... How'd she do that? I guess... Oh, uh, I guess she did that before she left. I was gonna say, where'd she find time after being in that rock hole? Okay, so for every five Cheeto pages you find in the game, you'll get a little secret. Or basically a cheat. Oh, man. What's somebody doing more for us? So, unfortunately, you can't go explore Gruntilda's lair like Banjo-Kazooie. It's not that much of a nostalgia trip. I mean, it was only two years ago. Still, I guess it would have been kind of cool if you could just explore all of Gruntilda's lair again. That would be ridiculous. But, oh no, we're having a whole new set of levels. This would be boring to do the same exact levels as we did before. But Cheeto's there to tell us that we want, if we want cheats, we gotta find pages. Which are new collectible now. Which you can find, like, here, for example. And he'll tell you again once you get one. Oh, it's saved. Cool. So, yeah, just remember. Get five pages and come to Cheeto for a cheat. And just like with uh, Banjo-Kazooie, the Xbox Live Arcade version, if you enter a cheat, saving will be disabled. However, in this game... Uh, I guess I shouldn't say so yet. But, yeah, there aren't as many useful cheats. You don't have to do any crazy stop and swap things, so... There's no need to worry about needing cheats to actually get content in the game. There's just stuff to make the game easier. And I actually remember a lot of the cheats for this game. Because I used to use some of them. I don't need more, though, because that would be bullshit. Whatever. Let's hurry to inside the digger tunnel. Jeez. My controller's vibrating from the freaking... Ugh! Stop at the pounding of the ground, dude! So this is where I got my first achievement, in case you're wondering. As soon as you leave Spiral Mountain, you fight Glungo, a minion with a mission. 
You didn't get to see much of him in Banjo Kazooie, but in this game, he's out for revenge. Caused him and his mistress so much trouble that now he has to fight you off. Yeah, we didn't do anything to you. You were just there. You is stupid. Oh, okay, Kazooie. Thanks for uh, saying what I didn't want to say. I probably would have said it anyway, even if you didn't. So here you go, your first boss fight. Ooh, he's going to the red potion. That potion will make him bigger. But if you just hit him, you'll be fine. Oh, damn, he has a freaking defense mechanism of the magic shield? Oh, man. Yep, can't hit him. God damn it. Leave me alone. So you have to attack him while he's big and then dodge his potions. That's what the, his red potions do. Of course, this is the first boss fight. It's really easy. You can't hit him while he's growing, though. You have to hit him after he's grown. Give him three hits, and he's out. And that would have gotten you the achievement for knocked out Klungo. So, are you ready to give up, you big asshole? I don't need you around here. Of course we did. You're in our way. Yeah, you really did ask for it. Yeah, we'll, we'll forget this ever happened, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, great. We're going to have to fight you again. It's like a rival battle. Just what I was hoping for. Oh, damn. He's asking to get punished. Is he a masochist, or is he just actually trying to feel like he deserves to get punished? I don't know. Hard to say when they ask to be punished. I guess it doesn't matter. But we're finally out of here. So the overworld is not going to be Spiral Mountain this time, but actually the Isle of Hags. The island where Grunty's from, apparently. And there's a Jinjo village here. Give me the only Jinjos here. One of your silos? I still don't know who you are! Shortcut tunnels? Well, I guess he's another mole. Based on all the stuff he's been saying. Oh, yeah, and there are hint signs here in case you need them. An information signpost. They even let you know how to read it in case you need to. In loving memory of the great Jinjo family. That's what I expected when a huge digging machine flattened their house. That happened recently. Oh my god. Oh yes, yeah, so you can as you can guess, we have to follow this freaking uh machine trail. We have to track down the witches, so the best way to do that is to follow this trail of freaking machine tracks. Whoa, there's a freaking castle here, too. I'll worry about that later. Bottle's house? Oh, boy. Oh, man, they blocked off their eggs. Escape. Son of a bitch. And again, I should have expected that. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Besides, we'll have a nice big cheese house to go into next time. So, welcome to Banjo-Tooie. The... Exciting sequel to the original classic, Banjo-Kazooie, both on the N64. And I'm going to be playing the Xbox Live Arcade version because I find it prettier and it plays pretty much just as well. The first cutscene's a little off, but whatever. Come back next time and we'll uh, go into this crazy cheese castle in Jinjo Village and see what we can do to get some help. Man, I don't even have a single Jiggy yet. I mean, I know I took more than one episode in Banjo-Kazooie to get one too, but the... Oh, whatever. I'll see you guys next time for the meeting with this house. It is kind of creepy that it's just like a random gold house that looks like it's made of cheese sitting in the middle of the village. Is this like something they worship or something? <laughs>